Hello, I'm Nick from HPE. I'm a solution architect in the storage division, and I'm here today to talk about something in the storage division called disaggregated hyperconverged infrastructure. But first, what I want to do is just set the scene and talk about the evolution and, and how we got to where we are today. We started with converged infrastructures, which have been around for probably 10, 15 years, and there's been multiple iterations from many vendors for converged infrastructure. And that's typically servers, networks, and storage rolled into a single rack that's rolled onto site that you have to buy all together. It's typically very expensive, comes with lots of professional services as well. But also it has lots of management integrations that you have to use that aren't all together. So it's very, very cumbersome. And if you want to scale it, typically it's in a frame architecture. So you've got to, you've got to buy and build frames to go together in a converged platform. So it's not very flexible. The evolution of converged infrastructure moved into hyperconverged infrastructure. And hyperconverged infrastructure allowed us to remove a lot of the, the shackles of this and move more into a building block design where I can now have building blocks of network and storage and compute in one place. And I manage it under one uh, user interface, typically for the whole stack. And that's great, but the challenge is that I need to buy everything all together. So it's, again, it's something that we call a greenfield deployment. Anything that I already have on premises cannot integrate into this hyperconverged infrastructure. It's something brand new. The other challenge with it is typically, as, a, as an industry, I'm locked into buying building blocks. So I can't just add in more storage or add in more networking or more compute. I'm locked into how that scales. And of course, some vendors do it differently to others. So what we're excited to announce is something called disaggregated hyperconverged infrastructure, or for short, D. H-C-I. And this is the ability to either buy greenfield deployment of a DHCI, but also if you've got Proliant servers on premises today, you can take those and integrate it into this new DHCI platform. And we call that a brainfield deployment. So let's say, let's say that you've got your servers today. They could be Proliant Gen 9 or Gen 10 servers. You can take a nimble storage platform you can integrate that into your current Proline estate. So that could be Gen 9 or Gen 10. And you can turn that into a DHCI platform. So the opportunity for you guys is that you can take what you already have and you can reutilize that with a nimble storage platform and turn that into a DHCI infrastructure. The benefit of that is you have one management integration plane for the whole thing. And that today is through VMware. We will announce other platforms and other um, uh, hypervisors in the future, but today it's VMware. So this allows you to take ProLiant servers with VMware today, integrate a new nimble platform, and that turns it into a DHCI platform. Now the benefit of this is that because it's nimble, it can now run essentially 99.9999% availability. And that's what that platform runs at in the field today. It allows you to run business critical applications on a DHCI platform. It gives you sub one millisecond latency. It also allows me to start doing application consistent integration for things like snapshot backups, replication and restores but also things like encryption at rest. So now I can have that all natively integrated into my platform with this ultimate availability of six nines. A major benefit of the DHCI platform is the ability to have full stack analytics into our HPE InfoSight software as a service platform that we run. So now what we do is we're collecting and analyzing data from the virtual machines, from the, from the hypervisors, from the servers, as well as the storage and the networking in between. So now we do native predictive analytics on the entire stack. We can tell you where problems are going on, not just on the storage layer, but actually in the networking, the physical servers, the hypervisor, or the virtual machine itself. Because it's InfoSight, that then leads into one phone number for support for the whole stack and that's HPE Nimble Storage. So we do market-leading support, not just for the storage now, but actually for the whole stack. 
servers and virtualization as well. But the major benefit to all of this is I can now scale this independently. So I can now add more storage if I want to add more storage independently of adding compute. Or I can add more compute independently of adding storage. So now you can absolutely scale and do what you need to as and when you need to with, for business critical applications with the DHCI platform. It is truly a easy to consume platform and it takes me 15 minutes to deploy the whole platform from start to finish. And it could be administrated from a single administrator for the entire stack. Finally, if we want to have public cloud integration, I can now have native integration with HPE Cloud Volumes. And that allows me then to connect data sets to either AWS, Azure, or GCP. And I can replicate data and move data up, but more importantly, I can replicate data and move data down. So I've now got data mobility from my on-premises private cloud to the cloud, as well as from the cloud to my private cloud on-prem. The final thing to mention about this entire technology is that there is zero additional charges for the DHCI platform. All you need to do is have ProLiant. You can buy new ProLiant, or you can have current ProLiant on-prem. Like I mentioned, Gen 9, Gen 10. It's a new nimble storage platform, and there's zero additional licensing or charges for this. So now you can take what you already have, or you can buy new, integrate this in, and you now have the disaggregated hyperconversion infrastructure. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to know more, please do go to hpe.com forward slash storage.